And ladies, you know when your husband says, trust me, and you're thinking, this guy's nuts. But you know what, it's not worth fighting. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, he was right. Lynn's like, hey, let's try the tractor for the first time instead of pushing the hay roll off of the tailgate, which is what I have been doing. And I'm thinking there is no way that hay is gonna balance on the bucket of that tractor. But he said, trust me. So let it be recorded here on this YouTube video. He was right. You were right, Lynn. It worked, okay? I stand corrected. My parents gave us this tractor. They had it up uh, at their cabin in Maine where they were at the end of the road and responsible for plowing the long road uh, over the winters that the county didn't maintain it and they don't need it anymore so they gave us a tractor and it has been really nice having a tractor i mean i wouldn't say having a tractor is a necessity at all for hobby farming at our scale but it just speeds up the process of what you're able to do like we were able to work on adding more dirt below the gates to keep the goats from getting out which still is a complicated challenge and the goats continue to defy all of our best practices of containment but the tractor at least speeds up the battle that we're having with them to figure all this out and so it's been really nice we could never have afforded this on our own it was a really generous gift really happy to have it but it's definitely not a necessity the manual labor part of it that we were doing before we got the tractor you know it was like a free gym membership and we're still getting the free gym membership we're just working out a little bit less thanks to the tractor we have to find new projects to do so so we got chickens so now we have chickens and so now we can drive ourselves crazy with a new animal with the extra time we have thanks to the tractor you know how it is in farming if you're if you're somebody who does something like this you add something that makes life a little easier and then you on your own make life harder and who can you blame but yourself? No one. This is this hay is a little below horse quality for Sassy. <laughs> she's she's a little picky. She likes a nice nice O and A orchard grass alfalfa mix, but the cows do not get do not get that quality. Anyway, I'm hoping hay season is hay season is about to be over, and that the spring grasses will be in fully by the time they finish this roll, until we can cut hay for a little while and save save the pocketbook. Hay has been so much more expensive here in Florida than it was in Washington State. When we lived in Washington State, we got extremely high quality hay locally for probably half the price of what we pay here. And that's because here they import the hay from Washington State. So it's uh, it's been interesting. We give the, the cows basically the Florida grass, which is called coastal. And sometimes Sassy gets that too, but I'll give Sassy the nice orchard grass, alfalfa mix or Timothy, but that's all imported from Nevada, Washington. And so it, man, it pinches the pocket to do hay in Florida compared to Washington, just because you pay the import fee basically for all the hay. And I did not foresee that when we chose to move from Washington into Florida. Now, would that have changed our mind? Definitely not. But it's just one of those things that you know, when you move to a certain place, you're thinking maybe, oh, it'll be a lot cheaper to do this or a lot easier. And you just, these are things you just have to plan ahead for. Okay, well, everybody's happy here. Hope you all are having something good to eat wherever you are. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Pin comment for all the goodies, health products, wine, coffee to support the channel. And we'll see you next time.